I feel like it's really officially winter because I have really started to embrace my winter wardrobe again guys and the heating's on in the house i'm wearing hoodies more than i'm wearing anything else it's cold in the mornings when i wake up it's dark i'm just not ready for it i'm really not i just i'm so not a winter person like i worry like i genuinely am one of those people where like what do they call it like seasonal depression or something like i just i just hate the thought of it being dark and cold Anyway, um, so I'm actually starting this vlog on a Wednesday. I thought I'd do a little like weekly vlog, but I've got a lot sort of happening in this sort of section of the week and then the next week. So I thought I'd start off by just giving you a little skin update. As you can see, I'm still having my breakouts. Um, I mean, this week has just been, last week was fine. Like I had like quite a clear week. And then this week I've got more breakouts on my chin. I've got one here, but my overall skin as you can see, has like really gotten its glow back after like one peel. So that's good. And they did say to me that like I shouldn't really expect to see like any drastic results until after at least three peels. So yeah, anyways, I mean, I'm just, this guy's just really chilling today. He's just living his best life and it's just getting worse. I mean, it was like bad yesterday. Now, I mean, you know, there's just nothing you can do. You just gotta embrace them. Um, Anyway, so the other reason I wanted to vlog today is because I'm actually going to go and see Natalie Kelly, which if you guys obviously have been watching my vlogs for a while, you'll know that she is the lady I go to for my like, lip filler and Botox. Um, so I thought I'd just take you guys with me because you know I like to tell you whenever I do anything. It's my, it's my thing. Um, but I also just thought I'd take this opportunity to answer some questions because I do get on Instagram or, you know, just wherever you guys can sort of send messages, people asking like, oh, what filler like how much how much filler do you get in your cheeks how much filler do you get in your jaw and i honestly have not had filler in my cheeks or jaw in three years um so i'm not lying when i say i don't i don't have it i feel really bad when i reply being like i don't but i know obviously i did but it's been three years and there's definitely nothing in there anymore um and also i know it's personal preference and if you want to do it do it but i really do believe that my face looks a thousand times better from not having cheek or jaw filler. It's, I mean, that is just my personal opinion and it's how I think my face is. I'll put in a picture when I was having like all of the filler and like this was like jaw, cheek, lip, you know, this was what my face looked like. And I think, I mean, I personally just think it looked too much. It wasn't a good look. Um, and yeah, I just, I now just get lip filler and I, and I mean, I even just, I don't even get that much. Um, but, because my main thing is, I'm like, if I'm, I'm all for getting stuff done, like literally, I think if it makes you feel better and it makes you feel happy and you want to do it for you, then go for it. Do you know what I mean? I just think there's nothing wrong with it. But I just think for me personally, my main thing is making sure that it's, I'm just enhancing what's sort of already there and keeping it quite natural, um, which is what Natalie Kelly is amazing at. Like she's honestly the queen of just like natural faces. So I just love going to see her, but I haven't been in ages, like literally so, so long. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that today. So I'm gonna take you guys along. Going into the office um, this morning, we have just had, I mean, a nightmare with our autumn winter collections. That's why, if you guys are wondering where are the new collections, trying to get stuff anywhere at the moment i mean you guys will be aware of you know all the situations with like the lorry drivers and like the delays with like you know the food shortages and the petrol and all that sort of stuff and it does affect everything so like the shipping delays and everything are just i mean i've had about five breakdowns in the last three days um i'm really it's just hard it's so hard like this is like the shit side of business that like you don't see as much of because obviously you see all the like glamorous stuff but it's hard and when it goes wrong like you feel like a failure because I just feel like I should have had this all organized sooner and it's you know it does get scary because when your stock's delayed you know you've put so much money into that stock and then you need it to be online and it just gets very stressful shall we say so i've had a bit of an interesting week i'm not gonna lie it's been quite like hard because we've got our autumn winter shoot next week and everything was supposed to be launching literally that following sunday but that's i just don't know i 
I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, thanks for listening to me rant for about five minutes. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get my shit together now and go into the office. But that's my little update to start off this vlog. So I've had two slight nightmares today. One being that I'm going to have to reschedule the Natalie Kelly appointment, which is a little bit annoying. But I've rescheduled it to next Thursday. So I'm going to put it in here so that technically you guys won't know that it's been a week and I'll just put it in here and I'm just gonna upload the vlog two days later than I thought. So that's fine, we're just gonna do that, it's not a problem. The other drama is, I mean it's not drama, I'm being dramatic by saying that. So I've ordered a lovely coffee table for this end of the office and it's arrived and it's so different from what the picture was online which is really annoying so I'm gonna have to send it back because I'm not happy with it. Um, it looks like this. So it was this marble table, but online, I'm not even joking you, the listing of this, it looks like it's that colour. So when it arrived, I literally, the delivery guys dropped off and I was like, why is it so yellow? So it's actually such a shame because the table itself is so nice and it would have been really good in here, but the colour is just, I mean, actually it looks even worse in real life. It's looking, I mean, it still looks yellow on here compared to everything else but it's honestly really quite yellow um, and it just doesn't really, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We have however got fabric, um, fabric? Well yeah, so it is a fabric sample for rugs. So we're gonna get a little custom, I say actually little was not the right word to be using. We're gonna get a very big custom made rug for this area. Um, we're gonna, it's kind of gonna be like that but a bit longer, so it's a bit more fluffy. Basically gonna be like the inspo image which was in last week's vlog or how many weeks ago now, I'm losing track of time. But yeah, look, I mean, you can just see there, it's like, it's just not right. So a little bit annoying, but honestly, I feel like my new hair is has given me like an alter ego. I'm not even joking. So I went along and I saw Hadley yesterday and he put the extensions back in. And also we went for a fringe fringe. I feel like when I had the curtain, bun cur curtain bungs, curtain bangs, I should say, put in, I really loved them, but I loved the like shorter bits at the front. So I basically said to him, I was like, I actually really want like a like a wispy fringe. And so he cut it a bit further back. And I'm so, so happy for, like with it. I actually think that this was like the haircut I was just meant to have because I'm never gonna have like a really full front, like front of my face where like my hair hangs. It's always been a bit thin. Like even before I had hair issues, it was thin. Um, and I feel like this fringe is just, I don't know, it just fills out my face like a lot more and gives me like a lot of volume around the sides. So if you are contemplating a fringe, then this is your sign to get one because I honestly, I'm so, so in love with it. And it looks so nice like when you, even when you like tuck, your hair's behind, your hair's? Your hair behind your ears, and like in like a ponytail, or I don't know, I just, it's a vibe. I'm honestly so, so happy with it. And then he's gone for the gold fever extensions again, and we went like sort of thin them out towards the end, so they just look really, really, really natural, and the color match is amazing. So um, yeah, I'm really, really happy. Why are you vibrating? What is wrong? What is the matter? What's happening, little one? Hey? You're always so shaky in the mornings. You get worried that we're going to leave, don't you? You're just not sure what's happening. Look at your pretty little face. Oh, <laughs> You're like that meme, that girl who looks off to the side. You look a little bit, a little bit stressed out. You okay? Yeah? And vibrating? We've gotten really into our overnight oats, haven't we? It's very exciting. We've got back into them tonight. So. I haven't had them in years. They are... So good. I mean, they don't. <laughs> I feel like also bought these for when my fringe gets a bit long. Apparently, these are what I should use to like trim the ends if it gets annoying. Um, doesn't look that exciting, but it tastes amazing. It's got oats, it's got raisins, apple, chocolate protein, cinnamon, nutmeg, um, and it's oh, and coconut milk, and it's amazing. So good. Yeah, it does the job and it's just there ready for you to eat in the morning. Although the most annoying thing is when you forget to make it. Yeah, you've gotta you've gotta be prepared. Yeah. I also look like a crazy person because we've been to nine rounds this morning, haven't we? Yeah. We got very sweaty. It's so anything with fringes, I feel like they're gonna they're quite <laughs> they're quite high maintenance in the sense where like if you sweat, they're just like I mean Same like that. <laughs> yeah. We look really, 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 really Cool. Cool. I mean, it's just like, what is going on? It's just. Look. I need to get. I need to have a shower and sort my sort my life out, basically. 
This is your James Arthur hair. Yeah. It's getting very long. Yeah, haircut. Bloody hell, when did that grow? I thought it's so long. Yeah, just goes about this way. You never even notice it. You that could do with a little bit long. of a, a, like a neck clean up though. Yeah. I don't like your neck beard, do I? It's not that bad. No, I've seen it look worse to be fair. Anyways, I'm gonna eat these now. Same. So I know I did a mini naked fashion try on haul on my stories on, over on my Instagram account this week, but as promised, I thought I'd do a little bit more of an in-depth one and I'm in love with these items. I'm super, super excited to show you all. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is what I'm wearing because I mean, it's quite summery, but the base is amazing. I can't probably wear it out like this right now, but it's fine. So first of all, is this little racer top, which as you can see, it's got like this dip hem, which I just love. I think it makes it, I don't know, just a little bit different. And I love, I think it's actually quite flattering when it's got a dip hem. It just looks really, really nice. So it's just like a really soft rib. That's kind of what it's made out of. And then these jeans, I actually think I may have found my new favorite jeans. They're basically everything I want from a jean. So they are super long, which I mean, is just amazing. Like really, really baggy at the bottom. They've also got, so I'm wearing these in a size 10. I will of course, right below this video, all the sizes and stuff I'm wearing and everything. But they're really loose at the waist in a good way. But when you're wearing them, they don't look like they're super loose but they've just got that really nice like vintage jean feel and I'm completely, completely obsessed with them. Like literally, I'm honestly in love. So I know that right now, obviously, we're not really gonna be going out of the house like this, but I have got this blazer that I thought I'd put on with this because I think it will work really well. So this is like a, it's actually like a faux leather, but I really like the color of it. I think it's a little bit different because of the fact that it's like a, like a purpley blue. And I think the two tones of blue will work really, really well together. So it's just a really nice oversized blazer. As you can see, the fit of this is perfect. And it's made out of a really, really soft faux leather. So it feels really, really nice. It's like very, very, um, like you kind of want to stroke it. That's how soft it is. So the boots that I was actually wearing um, with these jeans on my Instagram story are these. I'm obsessed with these. I love the colour. I love that this sort of like creamy leather colour is really in at the moment. So I might just put them on with what I've got on because I think this will work. Okay, these actually do look really cute. I'm gonna stand all the way back here so you can see a little full length. I will put in a mirror picture here anyway, just cause you know, I love my mirror photos, just so you can see, but I think the boots, I feel like the color actually works really, really well with this whole outfit. So I actually have so many bags to show you because they do such good ones. They're like really designer looking and super different from any of the other ones that I've seen anywhere else. But this one I'm in love with, look how big it is. And I love the fact that it's got a really big arm hole because there's nothing worse when you're wearing an oversized blazer when the bag is too small and it like pulls the sleeve up. So having a bag that's got a really big armhole makes a real difference to how the blazer sits and I absolutely love this one. While I've got this base on, I thought I'd just try this little bag on. I love the color. It's sort of like a petrol blue tealy sort of shade. Um, but again, it's just such a nice shape. I'm so impressed by their selection of accessories because as I say, they're just really, really different from other brands that I've seen. So if you're looking for some new bags that aren't really, really expensive, but have got that real kind of designer look, definitely, definitely check out Naked Fashions ones. So I thought I'd try these bits on next. I love this jumper. As you can see, it's got the, like, these cutouts under the arm, but I think it actually looks really cool. It's just a little bit different from just a plain black jumper. The trousers that I've got on though, PVC, Trousers of Dreams. So these are, I mean, what, vinyl PVC sort of vibe, and I'm really, really impressed with the fit of them. They're so nice, and the material is sort of, it feels a lot thicker than some of my other like trousers that are in this sort of style. So they feel a lot more, I don't know, just a bit, bit more expensive, I guess. I just love the sort of PVC vinyl trousers in winter. I think it's such a nice alternative to jeans or like a legging. They're just a bit more, I don't know, a bit more fun, especially if you wanna just dress your outfit up a little bit. So of course, being a black base, pretty much any bag will go with this. But I've got both of these. I thought I'd just try them on with this. This is amazing. As you can see, it's got this like really big braid all around the outside and I just love it. I think it's so nice. So I'll just put this on just sort of see what it looks like. I mean, perfect for an all black sort of vibe. But how nice is that? I love that when you're wearing it, it's got like a really strong shoulder detail. But this one, I'm just obsessed with because of the color of it. How nice is that? I just think it's such a good bag for if you want a pop of color, which you know me, 
I do love my pops of colour. So for me, this is like the win for this outfit, I think. So I've got these boots, which I absolutely love. So they're made of a really, really soft material. They feel super premium. And I love the kind of toe detail. As you can see, it's got like a moon shape. And I think that makes them look a lot more designer than they are. Um, so I'm gonna put these on with this outfit because I think just keep the all black vibe. Actually, the jumper is made of a super thick rib. And obviously, it goes without saying vinyl, leather, or like PVC leggings, trousers or leggings, I always feel are very warm. So I mean, right now, I'm actually not sure that you would need much more over the top of this. Like I'm very warm. Um, and that's why these are so great in winter because you can kind of wear a few less layers if you've got something like this on. And then here's just a little mirror selfie of this outfit so you guys can see that one all together. Okay, I'm obsessed. How nice is this like blazer coat? It's insane so it comes with this belt that you do up and it just gives it such an amazing shape it's so different i think from anything i've seen it's made out of like a sort of like in like a puffer jacket it's like padded but it's really i don't know it's like soft so so nice i just kept those same um trousers on from before and then i'll just put in a full length picture here so you guys can see this one all together in the mirror but i'm honestly like so so in love with this i've just put literally like a plain black top on underneath because it's really warm this coat i don't think you'd want too many layers because i think you get quite hot it reminds me of um i think there's a prada coat like this and it's such a great dupe if like most people um you do not want to shell out the cost for a prada jacket i mean I'm obsessed with the colour of this. It is so, so nice. So as you guys can see, this is more of like a midi dress. Um, but I really, really like the length of it. I actually like that it's quite a long midi dress. Makes it so good for sort of autumn. Um, it's made out of a really nice soft like rib material. It's a little bit different from the style of dresses that I would normally choose to wear. But I just, I saw it on the website and because it's the colour that I'm just obsessed with right now. I was like, do you know what? I'm going to give it a go. And actually, I really, really like it. Um, I do think it's something I would wear. So, yeah. I think I'm going to put it on with these black boots. Because I think that way it will kind of stay like wintry. Um, and it's just a little easy way of styling it. Here's a little full length one of that one in the mirror just so you guys can see that with the boots. How fab are these jeans? I love them. So this is like a little tie waist leather top. It's made of such a soft faux leather. It feels so, so nice. I feel like because it's made of leather, it's a really like perfect winter top. And with these jeans, I just, I honestly, I'm obsessed with these jeans. So on my Instagram story, I actually styled it with this orange bag. Oh, this orange bag is a dream. I'm it, like, Honestly, I'm so obsessed. It's like quite Bottega. I think it's because it's like super, super orange. Um, but oh, I just love, I just love, love, love. I mean, it's, this is like the ultimate pop of colour. But, and it's like this sort of like woven basket sort of look. So I think, again, that's what makes it look quite Bottega. But I just, it's just a vibe, really. Um, I'll put the picture in that I actually put my Instagram story in here just so you can see it. I put on some blue heels with this just to really go wild with the colour. I'm really having to get used to this fringe life. Like there's just things in my eyes, but Hadley and I decided when we got it, when I had my fringe done, that we wanted it to be like a little bit longer and quite like wispy. I mean, I know I, I've said this so many times before, but like hair when it's a bit wispy is my vibe. Um, but I'm just still trying to get used to the fact that there is something basically like level with my eyes almost. It's very bizarre. Anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so that's everything I've got to show you guys in my little naked fashion try on haul. Of course, I will link everything below with the sizes that I'm wearing and everything, just in case you guys are wondering. I am now going to go upstairs and carry on doing some SLA work. It's actually really late in the day. I've taken, I've been honestly trying things on and getting things ready for a couple of extra hauls and things that I'm doing this week. And Mondays just go so quickly. They literally do. I don't know where the time goes. It's still very much in sort of getting our stock to England stations. Um, so it's, it's still slightly stressful fun time um but we've got the um the photo shoot on wednesday for the casual collection which i'm obviously going to vlog because i'm vlogging like over the week as i said which is good because i can't wait to show you everything that we've got i mean there are a few added extras that will be coming for the casual collection but um i just can't wait till we've got our sweats back online again it's been sad not having any new sweats online because obviously we had the delay and i would have loved to have had them on earlier but They'll be on when they're on, it's fine. It's funny, it's funny seeing everyone with their torch lights. So, <laughs> we were just watching New Girl, as we do sometimes in an evening, and 
It's like that bit in Friends where there's a blackout. And tonight we have Rabbi Trivia. <laughs> Look oh, at this. We're gonna have to light some candles. Any? Oh, oh fuck! Oh, Sally, there I was. They're all back on. Thinking out the excuse to light a candle. Damn it. Joe gets annoyed at my candle addiction. Yeah, that would have been fun. Fuck's sake! Could have utilised my thirty seconds of blackout. Everyone's looking out the windows. Is that a person or a, a small, <laughs> an alien? I was just saying, it's, it's, like it, it's like when Instagram goes down and you rush to Twitter to check if it's you or everyone else. I was like straight to the window, like, is it us? What happened, Nelly? What happened? Did you enjoy that? You said I was asleep. I don't even know. I wish. I kind of wanted it to last a bit longer than I that. I don't even know. Hello. Hello. We caught in the rain earlier and my hair is crazy. It's wavy. It's wavy. That's the best thing about these extensions <laughs> is they've actually got, I mean, I mean, it looks wild right now, but they've got a really good texture to them when they get like naturally dried. Textured hair. Yeah. They kind of match my own natural texture, which is ideal. We have the same coloured hair. Yeah, we do. Have you done anything productive today? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. So, oh my God, Nelly, stop attacking me. Um, so, Mummy's been very boring because she spent the whole afternoon filming a reel, haven't I? I decided I would film a little um, sort of go-to makeup tutorial or as a reel and Nelly wasn't very happy because I was being very boring, wasn't I? Oh, we're gonna go out for a walk now though, I think. Oh, did I say the word? Did I say the word? Ah! Oh my God, I'm being attacked by a sausage. Oh, Nelly can, ow. Okay, 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 stop, ow. Ow. Jesus Christ. Okay. Do you, oh, yeah, okay, I think it's the, it's that time. It's that time. <laughs> Joe and I are back on stir fry hype, aren't we? Yeah. It's been a while, we don't tend to cook that often because we normally get meals sent to us, but they've stopped for now, haven't they? They have, so we're, we're bringing it back. And we do, we do enjoy it. We just get back after a day and when the meals are there for you. I do love a stir fry, to be honest. Yeah. Nelly questions what we're doing because she doesn't understand why we're in the kitchen because she's not used to seeing us cook, are you? Well, what's the matter? Look at your little feet. Hey, <laughs> Look at your little feet. Why do you look so concerned? You sleepy. You had a big walk today, didn't you? Yes. Someone's coming. What's this? She knows. Should we open it up? You love a box. Don't you? Oh, what is in here? Look, this has your name on it. You see? It says Nelly. Do you see what's in there? Oh no, we might need scissors. I'm gonna find out. Just need some scissors. Hang on, find out. So intrigued. Same. Find out. Excuse me. Pushy. Oh, oh what is it? Oh, dog cake cafe. What is in here? Oh my god. Oh, look, it's Nelly food. It's donuts. That What's that? You want that? What's that? It's for you. You're oh. not sure about it? You're a bit fussy with your with your food, aren't you? <clears throat> look, at, oh, look, there's a little bone on here that says Nelly. Oh my god. Look. That's How nice. cute is that? Should we try with a different one? What's in here? Oh, there's this loads. This looks like fun. Oh, look. Pick a mix. This one says Skinny Dip London. I'm gonna try that, it might be a bit too big for you. You what? can eat it, I know it doesn't look like dog food. <laughs> yeah, gently, okay. Try to take a little, you like things when they're smaller, don't you? What about this, look, I'll break a bit off. What's this? Yeah? She's not sure. She never is, go on. She's not really a dessert person. <laughs> She's not me. Your girlfriend's not a dessert <laughs> person. You put it all going on in here, don't they? I'll tell you that much. She's just taking it so she gets every bit and then she can eat it later. Okay. <laughs> she takes, <laughs> takes so them gently. so gently. Oh, we might have a winner. No? No. Okay. No. <laughs> so gentle. So gentle, such a good girl. What is this? Oh, it's a squeaky camouflaged bone. Oh, she says, this is what I came for, guys. This is what I came for. Let mummy take the, the thing off. No, that's exactly why I'm taking this off. She wants the label. It says pause off. Ready? Where's the squeaker? There it is. 
I've got jeans. Look at what we've got in here. Is this not the cutest little dog harness ever? That <gasps> it's is blue class. camo. Look. Yeah. This is like when we. How do you? How does that even work? You put your front feet in. This might be easier for her to put on. Yeah, it might be. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a bit small. I know it's confusing because it's new. Might need to work out how to how to do it. I'm gonna need to make those bits bigger. Excuse me. Excuse me. Collar and a lead. Ooh, wow, who is good. gonna be the trendiest so sausage trendy. in the land? Really not in the mood. Really not in the mood. And some joggers to match. No, Nelly, I love how out of all of this stuff, she's playing with the label Could that I cut it. off. <gasps> I was gonna buy one of these the other day. What is it? Poo bag holder. Wow. Because I keep like, you know after I had the drama of my <laughs> Fucking bag. Honestly, I was on a dog walk the other day and a poo bag got stuck in the zip inside. So I could not open my bag at all and my keys and my phone were in there. And it honestly it took me about 15 minutes to get the bloody thing open. Disaster. What do you want? You've got one of everything from here. You want another one of these? You don't like any of this though. <laughs> Just in case. Oh. Doggy chocolates melting on our very clean carpet that you've actually destroyed over the years of you being in our life. It's not very clean anymore, is it, Nelly? She doesn't care. She really doesn't. So, it's SLA shoot day today. I have actually got on one of the new check shirts in the green colour. I am in love with this, literally. It's such a good colour. It's so nice. I'm actually wearing those naked jeans from my little try on haul. I'm literally just, these are just such good jeans. Um, so I'm running late as always, never not late. Got to get Nelly together because she's coming with us for the shoot day. She loves the shoot day, don't you Nelly? No, she says she doesn't. No, she does. Secretly, because she gets all the attention. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that and then head in. But I want to show you guys my new trainers. So I got these recently from Axel Arigato, um, and I'm so in love with them. And I think that they will work very well with my outfit today. Look how cute they are. I'm honestly in love with them. I can't remember the exact name. Um, does it say on here? I can't remember, but I'll link them below. I just think they're so cute. They remind me of like... I don't know, like PE, like really chunky PE trainers. I think they're really cool. Right, I'm actually vlogging, guys. I've been here for so long and it's not happened, but we're in. It's going. Annie's doing her thing, but Zoe and Aisha in the background looking insane. Um, actually, to be fair, Zoe's wearing one of the colours that you guys haven't seen yet. Oh no, Justin Bieber's singing in the background. It's going to get me copyright on my vlog. He's going to have to shut. The sofa has really come in handy here. Look at that. Ultimate prop. Actually, it has worked so well. This is... Oh, Annie, they're not coming through on here. Oh. Do you okay. know why? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stress. What have you done? <laughs> okay, please forgive me, guys. The same things happen that always happens. I just did not have time to vlog on the shoot. It's so hard doing everything um, that I just, I can't vlog at the same time. But we got loads and loads of behind the scenes. We're actually, so SLA, oh, the light has gone wild. Um, SLA's actually got a TikTok account now. I know, um, which we're gonna do all of our like behind the scenes little videos of our shoot days. And this will actually be the first place that we'll put videos of our new collections. So if you've got TikTok, make sure you give us a follow um, because it will be the first place that we preview anything. But I thought while I'm just before I leave the office, I'm just gonna show you guys the collection on the wall so you can see all the colors and I'll just talk through like the launch dates and things like that. So this is the full collection up here. Um, obviously, as you guys know, the fleece is coming back. We've then got our new, so this is the plum set, the purple one. This one in the middle, which looks a little bit more orange on here, but it's a really amazing nude color. This is the putty. And then this one is the paprika set, which is just so nice. We've also got this set here, which is our steel set. Um, and this one, as you can see, is a hoodie and joggers. That launches just a little bit later, so that'll be launching probably about a week or so after the first launch, which is this. Then we've also got these amazing check shirts. We've got the green and the beige. And then this is our Alaska bomber jacket, which is honestly such a dream. So it's got this... Um, 
fleecy green lining all inside so it's like super warm it's like all down the sleeves as well so if you want something that's going to keep you warm that is definitely it but that again so those two the steel set and the alaska bomber jacket will actually launch together they were just a little bit delayed but they are coming um but this all this other stuff and the check shirts will be online on friday this week this coming friday which when, when this vlog goes up it will be the coming friday um but yeah so i'm really excited these sets honestly are just the colors i'm honestly in love with them they're very autumnal and as always made from our dreamy sla material the joggers we've reverted back to the original embroidered style the only thing is we've actually increased um basically from like the crotch up to the waistband just to give it a little bit more comfort because i feel like they sat a little bit awkwardly so they just needed that little bit more added to the waist but the leg length is exactly the same nothing's changed with the leg length um but yeah i'm super excited so i'm gonna end this vlog here sorry that it didn't end up exactly how i would have wanted it to be i will be going to see natalie next week so i'll vlog my appointment then just so you guys know that it is coming but it'll be in next week's vlog i'm also going to try my hardest to stay on top of my weekly vlogs um it's just some weeks like when i'm so busy with sla i honestly sit at a table and i don't move all day so there's nothing to really vlog if that makes sense but just so you all know i do do them when i can um it's just obviously finding the time at the moment can be a little bit difficult but i hope that you guys have enjoyed this one even though it didn't turn up turn out exactly as i wanted it to but thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video